Okay, so then we play. Dun dun dun. Gary's mom. Okay, let's get into it. I had a uh, put. Um, oh yeah, you guys didn't see that. Uh, Oh yeah, I'm going to be running this whole entire maze. Watch this. You wait. Let's start here. No one, please don't kill me. Guys, this maze is so hard. It's not like any of the other mazes I've done. Oh, I haven't really done any mazes. Before... Oh, no. oh, sorry. I'm just thinking how much time I have to do a video. Oh, no, there's this belief of pot. Uh, no. Under fell sand just killed me. Accused of attacking a young girl, putting up signs and supporting Black Lives Matter in Montgomery County, Maryland. I heard that. Leave her alone. Police say the man allegedly assaulted a group of people along the Captain Crescent Trail, allegedly grabbing the girl, ran his bike into the man recording the video. Asking for your help if you recognize anyone. When we come back here, even during this very trying time, I'm see if I can. Oh my god! ABC World News Tonight with David Muir, sponsored by Alliance for Lifetime. Oh no, I just got rid of under swap sands. Destruction in that city, stores destroyed, including many grocery stores. Sanford Middle School, not far from where George Floyd died, collecting food for families in need. How did he kill me? So many families came to help. 29,000 bags of groceries collected. So many in Minneapolis doing what they can. This little girl, whose front yard effort has multiplied. Nine year old Cameron Johnson began making bracelets and donating the money. Minneapolis families in need. Setting up a stand and her father, Ron Johnson, a former pro football player, mentioning his daughter's effort on his radio show. He had no idea how quickly her effort would grow. And tonight, Hi, David. Cameron and her dad telling us how much they've now raised. So far we raised $36,000. And the money we have raised from making bracelets go to the people of Minneapolis. <laughs> With Cameron's help and all of those families back at that middle school, more than 2,000 families now picking up those donated groceries. And tonight, those volunteers have vowed to keep going. Just incredible, and we need it. I'll see you for an all new two hour 2020 tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern. Good night. This is one of those stories that, as you cover it, it just becomes more unbelievable. The sun is dead. It's the first one of the day. When this guy needed money, a family member would die. Now, his daughter's began. Oh, no, it's all the bad time. Yeah, Tisha. No. You can go like These guys are suckers. Who believes that this moment we're living through will end in racial harmony? Oh, no, 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 no. Some of us still do want Oh, he is fast. It doesn't seem like it. They showed and they kept on going. Thirty more veterans. Oh no. Dang it. Oh, shut this. Huh? And here comes. Under swap sands. Prayerfulness, bravery, and hope. May God bless America. Oh no, did you see that? Did you see him? Oh, uh, 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 
Okay. Oh my god, they just ran in the cor- <coughs> How did I burn today? We cannot let these men down after what they did for us. Have courage, people. That is the story of Friday, June 5th, 2020. Go forward. Have a great week. Well, guys, that would be it. See ya. And please like and subscribe, boys and girls. See you later.